Welcome to BolivarTech.com. National Security Agency believe that current cryptography algorithms are broken by new quantum computers. Quantum computing is a new way to build computers that takes advantage of the quantum properties of particles to perform operations on data in a very different way than traditional computers. With this computational performance improvement came other risks, and more in the cryptography area where the security resides in apply to the plain data mathematical operations hard to replicate in a reasonable time without the knowledge of specific parameters values. At quantum computers exist the Shor's algorithm and the minimization algorithm can efficiently factor numbers and can break RSA, Diffie-Hellman and other discrete logarithm-based crypto systems, including those that use elliptic curves. The Shor's algorithm is composed of two parts. The first part of the algorithm turns the factoring problem into the problem of finding the period of a function, and may be implemented classically. The second part finds the period using the quantum Fourier transform, and is responsible for the quantum speedup. Minimization algorithm relies on first transforming the factorization problem into an optimization problem and as was exposed at my other article quantum computers are already here. At the level of the machine, the actual quantum processor solves a quadratic unconstrained binary optimization problems that can provide faster ways to get optimal and semi-optimal results. Before have panic and declare that internet security is broken, we need to know using these algorithms the largest such number that we found without using any prior knowledge of the solution to the factorization problem was 56,153, that is 16 bits, using only 4 qubits, in order to exploit the true power of quantum mechanics in this type of computation, finding the solution will need to make use of more qubits and remember that D-Wave 2X have 1000 qubits available to be used in the quantum processor. In August 2015, the US government's National Security Agency or NSA released a major policy statement on the need to develop standards for post-quantum cryptography or PQC. In this announcement, the NSA explain about his intentions to initiate a transition to quantum-resistant algorithms in the not-too-distant future and also recommend for those partners and vendors that have not yet made the transition to sweet B elliptic curve algorithms, we recommend not making a significant expenditure to do so at this point but instead to prepare for the upcoming quantum-resistant algorithm transition. NSA Sweet B cryptography is a set of cryptographic algorithms promulgated as part of its cryptographic modernization program, and it is to serve as an interoperable cryptographic base for both unclassified information and most classified information. NSA Sweet A cryptography is a cryptography category which contains classified algorithms that will not be released and will be used for the protection of some categories of especially sensitive information. Also the NSA recommend for those customers who are looking for mitigations to perform while the new algorithm suite is developed and implemented into products, first, it is prudent to use larger key sizes in algorithms in many systems, additionally, when using layered commercial solutions to protect classified national security information with a long intelligence life should begin implementing a layer of quantum resistant protection. Such protection may be implemented today through the use of large symmetric keys and specific secure protocol standards. Symmetric key encryption schemes such as EASE have the property that the fastest quantum attack known for recovering a k-bit secret key takes time 2 powered to k divided by 2. Thus EASE with 256-bit keys is believed to provide a 128-bit security level against quantum attacks, that is half the number of bits of security that it has against conventional attacks. At Valhalla Networks to secure our documents, electronic schemas, and source codes we use QEMacrypt that is a symmetric key encryption algorithm and based in a theoretical pre-evaluation it is quantum resilient because it dynamic structure, number of equivalent bits and algorithms operation. You can use it free just downloading the QEMacrypt command line or CCLI from the Valhalla's website. 
Other viable candidates for post-quantum cryptography can be lattice-based cryptography that are being intensively studied by cryptographers, because they can be used to achieve fully homomorphic encryption and code obfuscation not known to be achievable using conventional RSA and discrete logarithm cryptography. Hash-based cryptography, because is believed to have the same security against quantum computers as against conventional ones, k divided by 2 bits of security, where k is the bit length of hash values. Multivariate polynomial cryptography, where the security of these schemes is based on the difficulty of solving a multivariate system of polynomial equations over a finite field. Isogeny-based cryptography, where the security of these schemes is based on the difficulty of computing an isogeny of a certain degree between two isogenous super-singular elliptic curves over FP2. We must note that this post-PQC algorithms don't have any relation with quantum cryptography. Quantum cryptography is essentially based on the usage of individual particles waves of light or photon over a transmission channel, and their intrinsic quantum properties know as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle to develop an unbreakable crypto system because it is impossible to measure the quantum state of any system without disturbing that system. It is theoretically possible that other particles could be used, but photons offer all the necessary qualities needed, their behavior is comparatively well understood. Also the actual commercial quantum cryptography is used in quantum key distribution systems over fiber channels. In conclusion I don't think that internet security is actually broken, but the certain is, based on the actual quantum computer's development state, in few years we will be short at the quantity of bits used by current cryptographic algorithms and we need to take care of this possibility from now because after will be late. Thanks for watch the video and you are invited to subscribe my channel. More interesting contents available at bolivartech.com, and please follow me at my social networks.